This is WNEP's Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. Join us for streamside adventures. Days in the field with new and old friends. It's all about making memories and following traditions. And exciting hunting experiences with interesting people. We've captured the beauty and majesty of the great outdoors. And it's all next on Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. Hello everyone and welcome to Pennsylvania Outdoor Life. I'm Don Jacobs in the Pennsylvania Outdoor Life cabin. But we've been spending a lot of time out there covering great stories for you. Like this one, Steve Kolnick, he is a guide. He owns Gravy Boat Guide Service. And guess what? His boat looks like a gravy boat and he knows how to fish the Lehigh River. The name of my guide service is Gravy Boat Guide Service. Um, pretty much fish the Lehigh River by drift boat here. Uh, I pretty much paddle you down the river and put you in the prime locations to catch a fish. So what's with gravy boat? I mean, I, I think your boat does look like a gravy boat. But That's but pretty that much exactly what it is. Yeah, yeah, your, your Thanksgiving and also, uh, you know, making the fishy, fishing gravy. You know, that's what I'm there for. So basically it's a 16 uh, foot boat. It's uh, 54 inches uh, down at the base. It's 76 inches up at the oar locks. What kind of fishing are we doing? Uh, basically, we're gonna start with uh, the center pin. We're gonna start float fishing. If nobody knows what that is, it's um, pretty much bobber fishing. Okay. Um, there's gonna be a, a float is gonna be our indicator. Um, we're gonna have a series of split shots tapered down um, basically to a, uh, a lighter leader, uh, basically with our bait, you know, whether it be, you know, a, a Berkeley worm or, you know, a stonefly jig or fishing flies, you can kind of fish whatever you want on something like that. Here we go, start of our trip. What I'm putting on here is a Berkeley trout worm, pink color. I like the smell and I like the movement of them. Um, basically the way I'm going to fish this one, at particularly right now, is more like a drifted worm. Um, there's also some other ways that I do fish it where a nose hook it and slide the little BB shot right in front of it and kind of jig it in the slower water gotcha. a little bit. So basically, um, off the drift boat, which is nice, you can kind of just, you know, drop it off the edge. And you kind of want to hold that float back a little bit so the bait's getting presented first. So you're making like a figure L, yep. like a long Basically L. just kind of, you're running, trying to keep that wa uh, the line off the water as much as you can. Um, but basically you're just going to run it down. And I mean, you can run it as pretty much as far as you can see it. See, now we're holding it back, kind of tilting that hair back, but also letting it run. But you don't want to pull it out of the seam you're in. Right. I can see how the technique works. There's a fish right now there. On. Yep. Nice. Saw that Just bobber ticked the bobber. Go down. Just yeah. ticked it. I saw the bobber go down. So 11 foot rod, you get to play with yep. the fish a now little bit. Now you get bit, to play right? with them. That's the fun part now. And then again, like I said, you just got to keep that because a one to one ratio as that fish pulls, you just got to let them, you know, feather that reel a little bit. But you have a lot of forgiveness in the rod, which is nice especially with those light leaders. Yeah. What are you feeling like, a nice size fish? Uh, kind of a little bit smaller one. It's not huge, but it's a nice fish. They're all nice, Don. <laughs> they're all nice. Especially when you catch them, they're all nice. Yep. Little couple head shakes here. And what's nice is you know when it's coming because you see that bobber coming. Yep. I like to keep the rod low too, because especially at this time of the year, they will jump around a lot. You need a hand there? Sure. It just slides out. Not a bad fish at all. There he is. Not a bad fish at all, my friend. All right. That's gorgeous. All right. Nice, beautiful little rainbow trout. That's a beautiful huh? trout is right. Got him? And we got him. Beautiful rainbow. And there he is. 
Lehigh River rainbow trout. On a pin. On the center pin. Nice. With Don Jacobs. <laughs> and then the release. Good job, buddy. Thanks. Sir. Good job. Awesome. Now let's get you one. So I'm ready to go here. Yep. So basically all you do is got to just drop it right in, Don. And then um, you just do that little, that thing on the side there. Over here? Yep. That'll put it in a free spool. Just turn it towards you. Spin it. There you go. There okay. you go. And then that'll just slowly take it out. Yeah, and you can put your right hand up a little higher. There, right there. Yep, and then you use those fingers there as your break. And then also when you're uh, setting the hook, you can stop the reel with that. Okay. Yep, and just kind of let it drift down. Nope, oh, you're down. And I got one you on. You got him on, there he is. Oh, he's a jumper. Oh, look at him <laughs> going crazy. That looks like a steelhead, yeah, doesn't awesome. it? That's awesome. All right. That's awesome, is right. That's awesome. Look at him oh, going. Yeah. Look at him going. That's no awesome. drag, just me and this fish, 11 foot pole. This is really, really neat. I love the idea that I'm not hearing clicks and gears going and. Just very quiet. Just very you and, quiet. You and these geese, just you and these geese. There he comes, here he's coming. Wow, and he's got a little bit of fight to him. Yep. And if he wants to take a little bit, you can always let him, especially a little faster current here. And then you can reel right down to that float then when you think you're ready. Whoa. Oh, good jump. <laughs> and just sweep that rod then right over my head when you think he's ready. I don't know. I don't think he's, he's not ready, ready yet. at all. He's definitely not ready. Here he comes. And he's in the net. <laughs> All right. My first fish on a pin. All right. Look at that. That's awesome. That That's is awesome, awesome, man. That's awesome, Don. I love watching a, I've always said it, from a kid on down, I love watching a bobber. Gotta and this is a, a, this is a big boy toy bobber is what it is. And that is a beautiful rainbow trout. Look at that. That's awesome. Thank you, my friend. No problem. And look at he looked like a steelhead. How it's yes. that fine line of silver and brown. Beautiful color. And he jumped. Yep. I loved it. Awesome. Good there. job. Awesome. Goodbye. And there he goes. Off to the races. <laughs> Great job. You know what they say, you're never too old to learn something new. That pinning is so much fun. I think I'm gonna invest in a rod and reel and give it a crack for other fish. I really enjoyed fishing like that. Thank you, Steve. We're gonna take a short break. When we come back, we're gonna fish the Lehigh with Steve with other fishing lures. So stick around. In the net. And a quick release. Yep. Nice. 